Skinny, everyone. Here's some breaking news for you. Angelina yeah. Jolie, she got a preventative double mastectomy. Wow. Now, anybody at home who doesn't know what that is, essentially she removed all of the breast tissue from her breasts um, to prevent any breast cancer from ever infiltrating her body. And uh, obviously we know what some of the consequences of breast cancer can be. So she writes this um, kind of like an op-ed in the New York Times, you'll, you'll see this soon. Um, and essentially what she's saying is that almost a decade after her mom died at, at only 56 years old, after a long, long struggle with breast cancer, she decided to do this because she wanted to be able to tell her children with confidence that she would not die of breast cancer like mommy's mommy did, which is how she refers to her own mom. So this whole process started on February 2nd, and on April 27th, she finally finished up, and she essentially got reconstructive surgery. They take all the breast tissue out, they give her an implant, and she essentially looks like nothing ever happened. She said she wanted it so that her children couldn't tell the difference, and they can't tell the difference. The initial surgery is eight hours. This is what she endured in order to make herself feel more comfortable. And she has now dropped from 87% because her mother died of breast cancer. Yep, she was yep. very high when it came to the, she had the gene for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. She dropped from 87% chance of getting breast cancer to 5% chance. Wow. It's incredible. A lot of people are doing this. You get tested. It's a simple blood test. You determine whether or not you have this and gene. And this will just raise awareness for that right And that's away. what she's hoping. That She'll she, be on the cover of all the Every magazines. single magazine. Yeah, and, and women who, you know, follow in the footsteps of celebrities will probably take yeah. this measure at heart and might, right. might actually do this. All right, let's talk about the music industry. There's a new list out that has the most liked and most disliked. We'll start yes. out with the people, peop, uh, the performers people don't like. And this uh -huh. is from the public policy polling uh, came out with this list. The least liked, Justin Bieber. Shows the 19-year-old singer is widely disliked by Americans, receiving a 54% unfavorable rating, garnering only a 20% likable rating. Uh, following him, Lady Gaga, uh, she had a 29% positive versus a 50% negative rating. Chris Brown, 13% positive, 57% negative. And most liked uh, singers, we'll just, hmm. I'll spare you the numbers, Adele, Taylor Swift. There you go. And Justin Timberlake. I wonder what determines what you, why they like him and why they don't like him. I mean, if you look across the board, all six of them are pretty successful. I can understand Chris Brown because of what happened with Rihanna all those years ago, but I, think I don't this get is it. an obnoxious quality to I the three right. that are on that other list. I mean, I, I don't have anything against any of them. I mean, Chris Brown, he's pretty controversial because of what, yeah, obviously what happened. But Bieber and Lady Gaga, they just have a certain obnoxiousness to them. But doesn't Taylor Swift carry that same yes, obnoxiousness I, I actually, with her? Actually, strangely, I think you do. So I don't, I don't know. Who do they pull? And I'm who not a hater because you know what? I think Justin Bieber's doing a fine job. Oh, he's 19, he's in the spot. Spotlight. He's, he's all right, Making too. They're some all okay. money. Who cares? Yeah. Okay, moving on to Dancing with the Stars. Anybody who watched knows that there's a whole lot of controversy going on because the front runner who has been on top of almost every single one of the dances in Daya didn't do so great. Take no. a listen to what the judges had to say about her performance. That was kind of a mess. It was, um, it, it's, I mean, I, I love the concept, too. I thought it was one of the most innovative approaches to a quick stop. I love the fighting and the energy and all that, but I think because of that start, it kind of lost its place. And your body contact was off, which caused you to go out of sync. You missed, like, a, a few steps. Like, you kind of felt like you were dragging behind. It felt a little bit more like you were dragging each other through the dance. You know what? I don't know, because some of these dances that she has done have been so incredibly wonderful. I feel like she's so ahead of the pack. They almost have to say, eh, this one wasn't so great so that it makes sense if so she can come so back she, to come back to earth maybe morals. a little bit but she's gonna win there's just no question about right, it put up the picture of Dwayne Raid NBA oh, yes. fashions out of control yes. some people say put it up there he, well wait a minute there he's the playing there's a suit what, what it is doesn't that? look so bad. High waters and little polka dots. High waters are in now. It's so strange. <laughs> and so are polka dots for men, especially. 